So welcome to this video series working with scenario management in Visum and PDB Hub. My name is Anat Elad and I'm a technical product manager at PDB. I will guide you through this video series that consists of seven parts focusing on different aspects of scenario management. In this first part, I'll give you an overview of how this video series is structured, and then I will introduce you to the most common objects within a scenario management project. Part two starts with the basics, including how to create a scenario management project, how you can define variations of a version file that represents the scenarios, and how you calculate these scenarios. In part three, we look at some more advanced topics with regard to modifications and computation. Part four has a focus on scenario results. We look at KPIs, comparisons of scenarios, and presenting results of scenarios. In part five, we will demonstrate how to test variations of parameters for option testing. Part six looks at the options for big scenario management projects of how to keep track of your work as well as sharing the work among a team of modelers. And in part seven, we introduce you to cloud models with scenarios in PDB Hub and the options of transferring existing projects to the cloud to make use of cloud computation and even more options for collaboration. So let's have a look at the components of scenario management. Scenario management at Visum is organized as project. Each project needs at least the so-called base version. That is essentially a Visum version file that represents the initial state of the model and is also the starting point for creating scenarios. You can then change the base version and save these changes as so-called modifications. A modification represents a single measure or a combination of measure. So for example, a new bus line, a changed layout of an intersection, a closed road, or the introduction of a restricted speed zone, etc. So modifications can depend on each other or they can exclude each other. So for example, if you test different layouts for the same intersection. So a scenario consists of the base version plus any number of modifications that can be combined. So additionally, different sets of procedure parameters can be managed and used in different scenarios. So procedure parameters contain the calculation instructions for the scenario. So one procedure parameter set is allocated to a scenario. So when you create a scenario management project in Visum, a file system folder with a dedicated structure of subfolders is created too. So you can see here the corresponding subfolders, except for the folder shared data. These folders should never be touched by you directly because everything here is managed through the Visum user interface. So, and along with the folder structure, there are some single files, namely the base version file for the project, a VPDB file and a VPDBX file, which store general project data and serve as, a, as the links to open the project. So, as mentioned before, um, at the end of the video series, we will have a look at cloud models. Cloud models can be managed on their own, like a Visum version file, but they can also have scenarios. 
So the principle for creating scenarios is similar to a project. Changes to cloud models are stored as modifications. And the modifications can then be combined together with the cloud model to build the scenarios. So by default, the procedure parameter set of the cloud model is used. But it is also possible to create other procedure parameter sets and allocate one to a scenario. So the big advantage of cloud models is that the data are all stored in the cloud and can be accessed by any user who has the right to do so. So additionally, you can make use of cloud computation and run multiple scenarios in parallel. So with this, you are familiar with the basic components of scenario management. And we are ready to start with a demonstration in the software in the next part.